All right, so I'm gonna give you a brief overview of exactly what you'll need to create videos for a YouTube automation channel. Now, you can hire somebody or you can do it all yourself. Obviously, I'm gonna show you in this course tutorials on everything so that you don't need to hire, but typically when people do talk about this business, whether it's on YouTube or in a course, they teach hiring somebody, outsourcing somebody from either the Philippines, using somewhere like onlinejobs.ph, using someone on Fiverr, or using someone on Upwork. And so I'll teach you how you can do that later on in this course if you do decide whether in the beginning, if you have money to start, or in the future, if you decide to outsource this, you know, obviously once you scale up a little bit, I'm gonna teach you that later on in the course. And obviously you can do it all yourself as well. You don't need to hire anybody. This entire course will break down software and speedy ways so that you can achieve all of this without hiring anyone if you want and crank out good videos that are high quality that will allow you to monetize a YouTube automation channel all by yourself, all right? So you'll need three things to create videos for a YouTube automation channel. It's really simple, okay? First, you'll need a script. Second, you'll need a voiceover. Third, you'll need video graphics. Then obviously you combine all those into a video, which you then upload to your YouTube channel. Now for a video script, there's many ways to actually create a script, write your own, hire somebody to write one for you. And we're gonna cover all of them in a future lecture. As for the voiceover, you can again, either hire somebody to read the script for you, which is very simple. You could also read it yourself, which again, very simple, or you can have text to speech software. If it sounds good, read it for you automatically as well. I'm going to cover all those in a future lecture. And as for the video graphics, again, we're going to cover all this in a future lecture. This is just kind of just the overview to kind of get you to understand what you actually need the entire puzzle together. And then we'll split the puzzle apart and I'll show you how to create each individual piece that you can craft yourself, right? So the, for the video graphics, there's many ways to get video graphics. To give you a brief overview, you can use Creative Commons videos on YouTube, which are basically licensed videos that anybody can use. So for example, if we type in Bitcoin on YouTube as a topic to get ideas and videos that are Creative Commons that obviously are showing Bitcoin in the video, you just wanna make sure that you have the filters on, you have the Creative Commons license on, and then because sometimes people will turn this on and then type it in and then forget that it's actually not on sometimes, always when you look at a video, make sure that it does have, before you actually rip this off YouTube, and then you use it in your video, make sure that you click on the information, scroll all the way to the bottom, and make sure that it does indeed have the Creative Commons license in there. License, Creative Commons, okay? Reuse is allowed. Now that does not mean that you're able to rip this video off of YouTube, re-upload it, or even re-upload a small portion of this video, and monetize it because you didn't create your own original content. Remember, we touched on that previously. But you can rip this off YouTube, use portions of this video as your own graphics if you're creating your own script as well, and you're not just using the entirety of this video and re-uploading it, okay? So it's a fine line, but you can use Creative Commons videos on YouTube. Again, make sure that they have the Creative Commons license, make sure that you filter for that for whatever video topic that you're actually you know, grabbing off YouTube. Use portions of the video, don't just overlay an entire video on that, or at the very, very least, mix and match portions of the video or mix and match portions of this video and another Creative Commons video, you get the picture and add value obviously with your own script. And again, make sure that you scroll down and use the license that has Creative Commons and make sure that it has that on there. Now, another simple way that you can do it is you can just go to Google um, and, and download pictures and create a picture slideshow. Now, if you're doing this, make sure that you're moving pictures relatively quickly because nobody really wants to look at a static picture as a video on YouTube that's really gonna make your your audience retention suffer a little bit and your watch time suffer a little bit. If you're just using pictures, a, a way to hack that is to move pictures fast. So you're probably gonna wanna download dozens, if not hundreds of pictures and move them very, very quickly. So you could just download all these pictures and then cycle through them relatively fast, maybe every two to three seconds, move to a new picture and use that as an overlay. And then maybe even potentially add video captions, automated captions on that. Again, I'm gonna show you how to do that at a later date in this course. So it's very, very easy to do. And that will actually make your video somewhat engaging. Or if you don't want to use Google, because some people have a hang up about it, they worry about using like, you know, someone else's uh, uh, picture. I've never run into that issue. Although I've have heard some random people running to that issue. Typically speaking, you're fine using Google or Yahoo or whatever. But if you want to be absolutely certain, just go to a royalty free picture site like Pexels or Pixabay or any of the other royalty free sites and download some of the pictures there. You'll see all these high quality Bitcoin images on Pixabay, all these high quality uh, images for Bitcoin on Pexels. And again, you can download them, 
use them as your, your video slideshow. Just again, make sure that you're moving through pictures relatively quickly. Or one of my favorites, which I actually use now currently, is a software called Pictory. Now, Pictory will take your video script and it will create videos that look like this and overlay videos on top of them that match up with your video script. Now, ignore the captions here that are built into this because obviously I'm just playing around with that. You don't need the captions. You can turn them off if you just want to use the videos and overlay them as well or create your own captions for them. But basically what Pictory will do is it will automate your script and turn it into a video with relevant pictures. So as you can see here, this one's about finance. It's literally just pulling videos online that it has Creative Commons and it has uh, licenses to use and then overlaying them on your script as your script reads so that it looks like this video is crafted. It does all this automatically. Pictory is a game changer for a YouTube automation business and to create a YouTube automation channel to streamline the process and make it so much easier. I highly recommend it. I cannot recommend it enough. It's exactly what I use currently in my business and it makes it so much easier and so much less time consuming to edit video graphics on top of your script. It does it automatically, literally within like five to 10 minutes, depending on how long your script obviously is, okay? So again, we're going to cover all these in a future lecture and break them, them all down individually, and I'll teach them all to you separately in depth, but I kind of just wanted to cover a brief overview of the specific things that you're going to need to actually create videos for your YouTube automation channel.